Hello everybody, this is Refresh, and because Amiket Remastered has shown up on MTG Arena, I thought I'd give it a shot and try both the Sealed and the Premier Draft. I'm going to start with Sealed, because I think that's shorter lived on the platform. So we're going to pay our 2,000 gems and see what we open. Let's get started. Alright, let's open our packs. And here we go. So, I haven't played Amonkent in a while, but getting the Scarab God is pretty rad. This is a very powerful card. Absolutely worth playing. This is... it's okay. It is kind of a board wipe, so it's pretty strong. Semit is strong too. Earthshaker Kenra is... is okay as well. Very aggressive card. And we also got Jace as well, so there's a strong reason here to play maybe these three colors and maybe fix if I can. The reason to believe is maybe not quite as strong. So, interesting. Jason Unraveler of Secrets. I don't think this guy was in this set, so it's an interesting update to add this one. But there's a lot of power just in these two cards, and this is not a bad card as well. So, I think I'm definitely going to play these two unless the colors don't bear it out. And maybe this one as well. All right, here's everything that we opened. So it looks like we didn't actually get many white cards. Yeah, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven white cards. So that's actually not a lot. So let's see what we have. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna play white. There's just simply not enough in these colors to play. We could still splash for the grind to dust since the dust half is on the aftermath side. And if we just have one white, we can play it. So I will see if there's any fixing, but this is really too shallow to play. Now blue and black is what I want to play, so let's go ahead and see what we have. We'll just put everything in, then we'll start cutting things from blue. Oh, we have Consigned to Oblivion, which is... It's not bad. It's not a great card, though. Scaragod we definitely want. And Reason Aftermath is maybe... I mean, look, we already have so many of the cards that we need for a full deck. We could probably just get by with just blue. Let's see what we have in terms of synergistic cards here. We don't have much in the way of mill, so I'm actually not a fan of this compelling argument. There is a reason to maybe play it because we could just cycle it, for, first of all. And then maybe we could put something in the graveyard to reanimate with Scarab God, but I don't think it's good enough by itself. And this is a pretty aggressive card. Oh, there's another mill card here. So it looks like there is... A return of some kind of mill sub theme in here. I like Supreme Will, decent. Uh, let's take a look at black now. Okay, so we have some multicolor cards. I'm gonna actually put them up here so that I can look at them without them getting in the way of me being able to take a look at what I have in black. So black actually has a decent number of things as well. There are cards here that you know can be cycled or can become a pretty big card, and so there is a bit of a cycling sub theme here that might be something that I want to take advantage of. Like Pitiless Vizier, Horde of the Broken Lands is pretty good. This is a min minus one, minus one counter thing, so this might be better with a deck that focuses on that. And then we have Cartouche, which could remove a creature. It's not the worst. That's not bad either. Aggressive Zombie card, a Cycling card, more Cycling. So it looks like I have a lot of good Cycling stuff in this particular color here. We have a trial that we could use with the cartouches, so that's something as well. I kind of like black as well. It looks like a pretty good color. Now, if you remember, red and green were the other colors, because I have some and uh, aggressive red rare, and so maybe I can also see if there's something in this color that is good, or a deck in this color that might work. All right, and we also have the Merciless Javelinier and Summit Voice of Descent in these colors as well. So this is actually pretty okay in terms of the number of cards. Like, I can get pretty aggressive here. So that's kind of neat. I have Removal and Open Fire and Puncturing Blow, Trial of Zeal's Removal. So red has decent removal. So there is a reason to consider red as well, and there's lots of cards in this color. And then let's take a look at green. All right, so green has a bunch of big beaters at the top. Do we have the ramp to ramp out to the strand worm? We do have the ritualist. We don't have any reanimation, so we're not playing that. Life goes on. There's ramp there. Really, really slow ramp. I don't like that ramp very much. This is situational. 
probably not playing Haze of Pollen. So there's a bit of this exert thing going on here, but you know, although there are some decent payoff, there's a decent payoff here in the top end cards, I actually don't like green that much. So we have the Obelisk, Spider, and Summit. And Summit would be probably splashing on into green from red. So I think the three colors that are really in contention right now are black, blue, and red. And we'll go ahead and build the black, blue deck and see how that looks. All right. So we have plenty of cards, and so it's just a matter of cutting down this deck to what it's really trying to do here. So we know that there is a sub-theme here that is very cycling-friendly, and so we do want to retain any cycling cards, even if they're not great, like Compelling Argument. Uh, I think Strategic Planning is not what this deck is trying to do, and Winds Rebuke is okay. Let's see. Are there any other cycling payoffs here? There's a cycling payoff here. And this also works with the discard ability. So self-discard off of the Seer Tomorrow could work as well. Okay, so this is Selection and Possible Mill. So it's actually not a bad card. This is aggressive, works with the cycling thing. This is just a, I think this is just a fine card. Like, I have the Doom Dissenters. I can throw the minus one counters on there. And then just get a 2-2. Two, two, upgrading the Doom Dissenter and then, you know, getting a 4-5, which is pretty good. Or I can just, you know, put minus one, minus one counters as this thing dies, so that's not the worst either. I like Jace. The ability to draw a card is, I think, just strong enough by itself. I can bounce things, and then, you know, if I get to eight, probably not going to ever. But if I get to eight, Jace is a bomb too, so it's not bad. Consign is all right. So the blade is not what this deck is trying to do, so I'll cut that. That has counter, or cycling, that has cycling. I don't think the Dune Beetle is doing much. I think the Trial is okay, because I have the pair of cartouches. That's okay to get some damage in. Uh, that's these two work really well together, so I like that. Hecma can be okay. This is probably not as good. It's a defensive card. This can cycle, so that's not bad. Supreme Will is is okay. It's probably cuttable for what this deck is trying to do. Lethal Things Sting works well with the Doom Dissenter. Marauding Bone Slasher is kind of defensive. I think it might be out. There's a zombie. How many zombies do I have? Let's take a look. Two zombies? Yeah, we can cut the, the Bone Slasher. It's not really going to be attacking anytime soon. I think the Oracle is okay as a defensive creature, but not great. I'm, I can easily cut one, and maybe both. Like, it does kind of give me a sense of a scry, and maybe just pitching things to the graveyard, but it's not great. These can cycle, so I'm absolutely keeping the Horrors of the Broken Lands. And the Desert can cycle as well. All right, I guess here's a question about the Winds of Rebuke. So each creature has to bounce. Oh, it's a non-land permanent. Oh. I can return any non-land permanent to my opponent's hand, then we mill two each. Now, we don't have much in the way of that ability that bring a creature back from the graveyard, and so the self-mill is actually not very strong in this deck. So there is a compelling argument to not playing any of these, despite the fact that they work with this cycling theme. So it looks like I'm actually closing in on a deck that works. I don't even think I need to try the red. Let's see here. Uh, if I'm playing red and black, I'd get some more removal, which is good, because my deck is short on removal. And I'd get some aggressive creatures. The linchpin of that deck would be this Merciless Javelinier. Yeah, not really a big fan of this, so I'm not going to worry about it. I think just being able to play the Scarab God makes this pretty bonkers. And Jace, you know. So I just need to make a few more cuts and we'll be ready to go. I don't like Sensor. The self mill might actually be better. I'm just gonna cycle it though, so maybe, maybe these cards. Just having this as cycling means that I can probably cut some lands. How many cycling cards do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine is not a lot. Hmm. Consigned to oblivion. The flexibility I think makes it better than Winds of Rebuke. Like this is Winds of Rebuke plus something better. Yeah, okay. So I can cut wins, keep the consign. I think Supreme Will can go. Do I care about this Oracle? Yeah, we can cut the Oracle. And then with nine cycling cards, I mean, I, I have some top end here, but not a ton. And these two cycle, so I could theoretically actually probably cut maybe two lands. It's probably not ideal, though. My curve is not that high. I have two fives, this cycles, or it could be a creature. I think I caught one more creature. Let's take a look at... I have 15 creatures. Maybe I cut a spell. I think with all, all the cycling, I can probably afford to cut two cards. So I'll cut one of each of these, right? We're slightly heavier in black. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
13, 14, 14 black versus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so we have slightly more black, so this is fine, I think. So this will be the deck that I play. And we'll get started with game one. Here we go, we got a bunch of two drops, we got two lands, and these can cycle, so it's actually not the worst thing in the world, especially since this draws a card. So I think this is actually a pretty good keeper. We're gonna absolutely cycle this on turn one, because, or not, I guess I could just play this tapped. Actually keeping this, no, I wanna be able to use it, I wanna be using the mana, so I'll... even though normally I would tap that, I think, yeah, I think this is fine. I can get the Doom Descender going and then the Wasteland Scorpion going. It's been a long time since I've played this format, so I'm not 100% certain that I'm doing this correctly, but I might as well get started, right? Now I like the Aerial Guide. Okay, so they're on the Cycling Plan, it looks like, as well. And the Cycling Plan reminds me of Ikoria already. Alright, let's go ahead and get in with the Doom Descender. Is there a way to cycle or... You know what, that's fine. Like, losing the Doom Descender and its bonus for this is not the worst thing in the world. Now I have an Aerial Guide co coming in on the skies, so this is fine. Okay, so that is okay because I'm going to play the Wasteland Scorpion next. So yeah, we'll play the land. And then we will... If I have one more land, I can cast this. So we'll attack now. I'm not planning on blocking. Play the Wasteland Scorpion. Keeping up... I think we keep up blue mana. So one, two, three. Play this. And then we can cycle the sensor. This will block the zealot easy. Easy trade right there. Yep. Didn't think so. Okay. Now I can just cast the uh, horror, so that's not bad. So what we're going to do is we are going to attack with just... Maybe we attack with both. No, I can't really race the zealot. I want to keep the scorpion on the defense, so we'll do this. The horror can actually be the one that flies in with the aerial guide the following turn, so I think that's good. Cast you. We can cycle some things. Sure. Target you gains haste? Don't care. Alright, so I can attack with these two, right? Yeah. And I can actually make another one fly, so that's not bad. Alright. So we'll attack with these two for now. Yep. Yep. That's just gonna hurt. Yep. Then we cast another Horror of the Broken Lands. We can make it fly and then cycle, and I think it would just blow up my opponent. So I'll have three flying. First strike as long as it's attacking. I'm totally cool with them attacking with that. Oh, they quit. Alright, yeah, I had this one pretty on lock with what I was setting up here. My opponent just needed removal to get rid of my flyer, I think. Ooh, and I won some prizes for my mastery. Alright, we'll go into game two. Alright, this has one cycling, two cycling cards. It's not great, but I can cycle into better things, so it's also not the worst thing in the world. I'll probably keep it, and I'll probably cycle right away. Yeah, and I have Scarab God, which is pretty good, if I can get to cast it. Cycling just makes it easier to keep cards or hands that aren't that great. So 
Uh, we're going to play the black one, and we'll probably cycle the horror at the end of their turn. And see if we can get another land. Doom to center? Sure. Oh, they're in the same colors. Okay. So we're both doing this. That's not a land. That's also not a land. Uh... Alright, I guess I'm cycling this at the end of next turn. Yep. Sure. Yep. Okay, no blocks. Pass. So now we're going to cycle you, and then I'm going to untap the, I guess it doesn't matter, there's a chance I might draw, draw a blue uh, spell that, alright, we got to three, so that's good, and now, you know, this is not really much of a threat, so I think I'm just going to unburden them, actually I can get the wasteland scorpion going and they get it flying as an option too. The other option is just hold out for the Soul Stinger. Yeah, let's just unburden them. Oh, I, I don't have two blacks. Alright, I guess I'll just cast a Raceland Scorpion on the ground then. Oh, wow. I got got. Feels bad, man. Okay, this is a threat. I have four mana though, so I can totally play this. Yep. Put the counters on itself, and then trade and double trade. It's not bad. Oh, you could use that ability though. To hurt me. I think I'll gladly take this two for one though. Okay, everybody's attacking. Block here. Now let's get rid of the festering mummy. Yep. They're gonna upgrade that? No. Ooh, interesting. They chose not to upgrade it. Alright, I am doing really poorly in the drawing of lands department. We'll cast another soul singer. Yep, yep. They're doing really good in the drawing of lands department. Here we go. Now I've drawn the lands. So they only have two mana left. I could cast a scarab god, but I think I just want to open their hands. Oh, ouch. They dropped their best cards. Yeah. Good game. Good game. I guess they're choosing to quit. Let's go ahead and cartouche my guy up. Draw a card, and then get on the uh, attack here. Yep, yep, yep. That's all fine and good. This uh, can be embalmed. Okay, okay. And what I will do is I will play a swamp. And then this is not a zombie. That's four for three, so I actually need to stay back on defense. We'll play you and use your ability. And then start exiling your guys on the next turn. Feels good. Good game. Good game. Hmm. I need four mana, right? So don't block it this turn. Keep the mana up. Yeah. No blocks. Alright, we have compelling. Oh, and they quit. Yep. Not bad when you're when you're doing things like this. 
when you get a ridiculous pool like this. Alright, let's keep going. Alright, we got three mana. We have some three mana spells. One thing that we can we're just gonna cycle anyways, so yeah, this is fine. Okay, they're in black. Ooh, and I have a two drop. Nice. Okay, whenever a creature enters, they get a life. It's an embalm. Okay. Uh, we'll go to my turn. We'll mill. We'll cycle this. Get something better. There's a scarab god. That'll eat all those guys in the graveyard. All right, let's go ahead and make our one one. And we could even soul stinger this to upgrade it. Would be good. Okay, they're not. Oh, they are attacking. I'm not gonna block. I have. I have plans for you. Okay. So we'll play this now. And then I think we just trial. So that we can use the cartouche on the following turn. Or on a later turn. Yep. And we're not gonna attack. You can embalm that. Until I eat it with the scarab god. Ha 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 ha. No blocks. Interesting. Hmm. I wonder what they have. We'll cast a Soul Stinger now. And then just drop that here on the Doom Dissenter. Make it a little bigger. Oh, my opponent's mana screwed. That's rough. I think I just get in on this, right? Enchant this. Yup. Target you. Yep. Then we'll go to next. We'll attack. Yep. I know, like, the Scarab God's super powerful, but I think I just have a potential strong win in hand, right? Uh, I could trial again. And then pop this out. Maybe I'll do that the following turn. I'm going to keep Sensor up in case my opponent has a strong turn 4 play. Oh, they're they are on three colors. Interesting. Sensor. It's just a tempo play. I mean, my opponent can get it back later, but I think this is why I need to scarab start scarab godding. So we'll go on the attack, and then we'll get the scarab god thing going on the following turn before they can start bringing these things back. Sure. They're tapped out. We Scarab God. And they quit. I mean, if I saw the Scarab God on the other side of the battlefield, I would strongly consider quitting too. So, I don't blame them. Alright. Let's keep going. Alright, two black lands, a bunch of things, uh, even though I have, well, you know what, I have these two black lands, right? I can cycle twice. I might be able to get the blue land I need to cast this other stuff. I want to keep it. Man, cycling really warps the game. Like, I would never keep this hand, normally. Okay, so they kept Gun Revolving Wilds, and I'm going to be stuck cycling. It's not blue mana, but I can cycle, so I will. Okay, so they're playing an aggressive deck, or an embalming deck, perhaps. Okay, so we're going to cycle this. Not blue mana. Oh my gosh. Alright, you know what? I can cast a horde of the broken lands, so I'm gonna cast a horde of the broken lands. Now I kinda wish I didn't play the desert and I just cycled that instead. What what a mess. 
But my opponents, whoa, three mana. They have all their colors. Uh, yeah, that's that's pretty good too. Yep, yep, yep. Getting life, getting guys. Stol soul stinger. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. Makes it look like I'm playing mono black. I'm not, but it makes it look like I am. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll trade one, one for one. They get that back. They'll play another one. I kill you. First strike. Oh, it's first striking. Wow, that's pretty good. I'm not. I'm not gonna block that guy. Okay. Well, I'm in trouble. I'm in big trouble. Lands. Ugh. Oh, that's also troubling. Okay. So, I can... I, somehow I'm drawing just swamps. Um, we can cast... I'm going to die pretty quickly if I don't take out the flyer. So, I will chomp. Oh, you know what? Making this an 0-1 means that it dies. I can just throw all the things on that guy. Yeah. 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 Put them all on here. Let's uh, disincentivize some, some attacks here. Come at me, bro. Yeah, sure. Go to blockers. We'll block you, sure. Yep. It's a one for one on me. But that's fine. Yeah. How much I can do about that? Yep. Keep making boys. Sure. Yep. Just have to take it out their... Their flyer. Okay. Would be good if I could draw a... <laughs> an island. But... It's fine. Now I have more... More attackers. No attacks. Or I mean more blockers. Okay, yeah, that exerts, sure. You're just gonna attack on this guy, that makes sense. Okay, I've got it. I don't know if this is in time. But, hey, buddy, guess what I got? The Scarab God, that's right. I'm going to exile some dudes, and I will... I need to take care of their flyer somehow. Create a copy of it, except it's a 4-4 black zombie. Yeah. So, no attacks. Not this turn. I need to stay alive. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so I think I do exile that thing and get it back. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, five, six. So I can use this. I have two mana left. It won't be blue. So I can cast you. Yeah, sure. We'll just make them sacrifice a one, one. That's fine. Sure. And then we'll go to next. And then... Could attack with this. They'll block with that. That's not very good. And then they'll counterattack 
for one, two. Yeah, I can't. Okay. End the turn. Okay. Okay, so that's going to make it a 3-2 with Trample. And it can fight something I control. Sure. That's a clock. So you're going to bring that back. Yep. That's fine. Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Fight. Okay. Yeah. Not much I can do about that. So I do need some sort of removal. Can't block. Damage. Yeah. You make a guy. Yeah. Scare God's not going to do it. Come back and put you on here. Uh, we don't need this. It's not what I need either. Alright. I can't kill any of his guys, and I have nothing to fly with. I think I need... I need a search for removal. Alright, we'll cycle you. We gotta find some kind of removal. Okay, that's not great, but it will it will help here. So I'm gonna put a minus one, minus one on there. Lifelink up that guy. Yes. Okay. You get bigger. Yup, yup. 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 Uh, we'll shrink that one. Yeah. Yeah. And then we will go to combat. We'll attack with the horror. Uh. Yeah, they're both going to die anyway, so I'm okay with that. Let's uh, increase this. Yeah, let's do it like that. Okay. Then we'll play the trial. Makes them sacrifice another one. And then I'm... Am I turning the corner here? I might be turning the corner. It depends on what they have going on. Okay. So they're bringing that back so that... Yeah. We don't want that. Definitely don't want any more swamps. Can't cast that. Okay. So the next step is I'm going to start turning onto the beat down here. So I'm going to attack with these two. And then I can cast these two, I think. Uh, these two. Alright. So, going to the beatdown, we're changing plans here. So they're just going to take it. Okay. We'll play a Doom Dissenter. We'll play the Hecma Sentinels. And then, yeah, I'm going to eat the Hooded Brawler and the Horror. Yeah. That's a big boy. Uh, ooh, I wanted to keep that. That's instant. Great! Um, I don't have a ton of mana though, so I can't use its ability that effectively. It does stop my attacks, surprisingly. 
Hmm, hmm, hmm. This can block. This can block that. This can block that. So I need two more mana to get this to be good. I can bounce that, though. So that's something. Okay. So I'm going to hold. Yeah, hold. No attacks. We can bounce this and summon that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I think I'd take it. I think I just have to take it. I have to keep this up. That's really annoying. Now you have two flyers. And I need more removal. Yeah? Let's use your ability. Eat this guy. We don't want you. We do want you. Great. That's a sorcery. We're going to use it. Uh, okay. So we will lethal sting. Targeting you. Put a counter on you. Yeah. And the zombie team increases. Alright. I can't break through this guy though. Attack with you. Yeah, you'll just get pillow fighted. Fought. Pillow fought. I wanted to do this on my turn to get rid of this holy. But I have three zombies, so that's not bad. Alright, we'll class we'll class you. Cast you as well. So now I have four zombies. Yeah, and that'll help a little. Alright, no attacks. Yeah, yeah. I can't do much about that. So if you get a combat pick, that's going to suck. But I'm going to just start draining you a ton. Sure. Okay. Uh, I don't... I don't want you. Uh, I don't want... Actually, I don't want you either. Do I want this? Let's take a look at my hand. Uh, draw one. Scry one, draw one. Turn target creature to opponent's hand. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So I actually want you. So I can bounce and purge. And I want you. And uh, you're probably less important, right? Yeah, okay. So I'll, we'll keep you, actually. Because you can power that thing. Okay. Great. Um, next thing is I'm going to play you, and then we're going to, um, bounce, no, we bounce, okay. So I have wha four, I need another big creature. So I actually need four mana to pull one of these guys out, don't I? One, two, three, four. So I'm going to bounce on the following turn. Okay. So next, um, and we will pass one, two, three, four. Yeah, I need to get one of these guys out to be big. All right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Exit. So I can consign, and I can get the flyer out. Right. This will get me two guys. It's good. It's good. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Go ahead, hit it. Uh, okay. So I need to use your ability. Eat this. 
And then we are going to... Alright, so I need to... To chump chump, right? Okay. Right. Okay. Return this. I need to save it. Okay, so we're going to double block one of you. Chump. Double block you. And then chump you. Yeah, I guess it doesn't matter which order that this happens in. Okay. That was an interesting choice. Uh, Alright, so we're gonna put minus one, minus one counters on you. Alright. So I can make you again. Or just play you. Bounce you. Yeah, your, your hand's empty, so Oblivion's useless. Play you. We'll bounce you. I know who I am. And then we'll pass. And then we will attack with you. No. We'll attack with you. Cause I can cycle you and make you a three four. No, we're just gonna hold. Alright, end. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. 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 No one likes a bully. You gotta cast that guy. Okay. It's not attacking until next turn, anyways. We go to my turn. Sure. All right. So now we're gonna scry one and draw. I am who I choose to be. Do I need this? I have seven mana. I cast you. If if I draw you, I can cast you and you. I don't think I need to cast both. Let's get something else. Alright, Dissenter is fine. Alright. So, we'll play you. And then... Then I can cycle one of this guy for that, right? Okay. Next. Um, not this turn. And then end the turn. Alright, that's a good card. Yep. So now you're going to come at me. Yeah, go to attacks. Just the one? Okay. This uh, this I'm okay with. Yeah. Okay. We're going to... Uh, we're going to cycle you. Which makes this guy bigger, bigger, bigger enough to block. We'll block here. We'll block here. Alright, so we're definitely playing you. We're definitely playing you. Wait, let me see. Yeah, we're playing you. No. And then I can f make one of my guys fly. And it'll be the. Eternal of Harsh Truths? I think so. We'll make you fly. Yep. Draw a card. And then... I can start getting card advantage by slamming in, huh? Um... Blocker, 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 blocker. Yeah. Attack. 
Now, I think I should say defensive for now. Because I have the value in the long run. And I get there. Scarab God is uh, really hard to deal with. Alright. Let's keep it going. Alright, we have two mana. We have uh, our boss. We just need one more mana. And this can be good. I'll keep it, but it's risky. Come on, mana. Okay, they're cycling, so maybe they kept their risky hand too. Well, at least I can censor something if I need to. Or I'll cycle. Whichever comes first. Okay, black and white. Zombies? Not what I wanted to see. We're going to cycle this now in hopes of getting a land. That's a land. I'll take it. Alright. Now I can get to the Hecma Sentinels or the Aerial Guide. Looks like I'm going for the Aerial Guide. Yeah. I could have Hecmud into the uh, cartouche actually. That wouldn't have been bad either. Okay, yeah, that's kind of annoying. Uh, no blocks. Okay, we're at four. So I think I play the Soul Stinger. But the counter's on itself. If it should block the Scorpion, it dies and I'll kill the Avon. So it's like a two for one. We'll hold steady then. Yeah, that's a two for one. I'm glad to take. Uh, I'm okay with that. I'll take two and I'll swing back. Or or not. Okay. Now now I've got some troubles here. Um, being mana stuck is not the best either. This can't fly through that, so maybe I'll play you. And then we'll pretend like we have a horror or the broken lands up. And then this will block that, that'll kill that, that okay, so no attacks. I need uh I need a mana for the scarab god. Or I think I trade. Let's just trade. I can't race them right now, but if I can nail one of these things. Actually, if I can put the cartouche on the sentinels, then I'll block in the air sufficiently and on the ground. That's really bad for me. Okay. Um, do I have anything that can deal with this? Creature, enchantment, or land until end of turn. Let's, let's play this. We'll draw a card. We'll maybe get a land. It's not a land. And then we'll hold this to maybe... Okay, we're gonna hold. Yeah, we're on the back foot here, so I'm gonna hold. The Hex Sentinels can get larger. This can become a copy of a target creature, land, or artifact. Okay. Well, that's conveniently annoying. Okay. Yep. Yeah, 
That's also annoying. Okay, so am I losing this? I think I'm losing this. I need a way to deal with the flyers and the mirror. Uh, Alright, we're gonna cycle you. Well, getting the five is fine, except that you can turn this into anything, including my best thing. So it's actually not fine. Alright, we're gonna... We're gonna play you. And then we're gonna attack. I don't have a lot of turns left. I can't block the flyers. Okay. So they will magic mirror the Aven. Hit me for six. Yeah, there's nothing I can do about that. Okay. Yeah. I'm dead. Lost this one. I mean, getting mana screwed will probably cause anyone to lose, but... They also have a good answer <laughs> to everything that I have going on. So, you know, life, right? Uh, that's too late. None of this will help. So, I lost. Alright. We'll good, give them the good game. And we'll play, I don't know, this. I mean, you win. There's no way around it. Let's just do this. And we'll quit. We're done. <laughs> you got me. I, I got mana screwed and I lost, which is pretty common in magic. So, great deck. Mana Scrooge loses every time. All right, we'll keep going. All right, now we got three mana. Very good, we'll keep this. Start with that, and we'll decide if we're gonna cycle this horror or not. Do I want to? <sighs> yeah, let's cycle it. Let's see if we can get into something a little bit more active. Or Jace. Play this. We'll play the Dissenter. We got the. I guess the Eternal's not gonna come in. I guess I could cycle that too. We'll see. Okay, interesting. We'll keep that back on defense and play the Eternal of Harsh Truths. That's going to keep them from wanting to attack with their only creature, if that's their only creature. Because then I can start drawing cards and that's bad for them. Oh, look at that. They got the spells thing going. I'm still going to disincentivize attacks though. Okay, so they have been disincentivized appropriately. I think we have to play a little conservatively here. Um, because they could have a spell that stops that. So let's just get uh, the Soul Stinger going. Maybe they'll counter this. Maybe that's just... No? Okay. We'll, we'll kill the Doom Dissenter then. Make a big dude. I don't feel like trading this for a spell. Yeah, so we'll hold. We got some sort of removal. This is a pretty good card. Okay, so they did have a spell. Very good. Okay, yeah, sure. Zealot. They're tapped out now. I don't have a lot to deal with this guy, but... I think I... Do I trade? For those two? Keep this... I'm not going to get the benefit off of this though, right? Let's... Let's pity list Vizier for now. And we'll hold this for cycling. And then... We'll pass. Uh, I really wanted to attack there. Okay. So 
So they have a flyer, sure. Alright, we'll attack with the Pitiless Vizier. Alright, so we'll cycle you. Then hold. Sure, that's fine. Still can't reach right, yeah. I'm okay with that. I think we're gonna go on the assault the following turn. Okay, so now they got zealots for days. Go to my turn. Sure. Attack with both. If you double block the soul stinger, I can consign one and eat it for the consign half, which is pretty good. Yeah, that's fine. All right. So now we can sign this half. And then eat. And then we hold. Being stuck on mana, but I'm doing okay. Thanks to uh, Pitiless Vizier, it looks like. Yup. Nice aggressive card. We got that guy too. Very good, very good. Okay. Sure. Yep, yep. Fine. Go to my turn. We've got the land. Now, I want to do this, but I think I'm going to unburden them. So I'm going to go on the attack with you and you. Yeah. See if they'll fall for the same trick again. Or I'll take the two for one if that's what they want. Okay, so we're going to cycle you. Yep. Hit him. Force them to lose their last two cards. Oh, nice. I ate their Scarab God. I think they're nice for having one, though. That's pretty good. Alright, and then we attack with the Pitiless Vizier and the Soul Singer. Well, let's attack with both. I think I have a plan here. Do they have a trick? Okay, they're just, so they're just eating it. That's fine, because now I'm going to Doom to center. And then I'm going to lethal sting you, eating my own dude to center, right here, right here. There. And they quit. All right, we got there. Look, I didn't even play my bomb cards, and I beat them and their scarab god. So. Feel pretty good about this deck. Or maybe I'm just a good player. But I feel like it's the cards. Alright, let's keep going. Here we go. We got all of our lands. Things to cycle. And yeah, we'll keep this. It's not a great hand because we don't have a lot of action. But it's a start. We'll start with this. And maybe... Uh, we don't need to cycle this just yet. We'll see what they're up to. Start with a Festering Mummy. It's a good start. Let's hold. Yeah, you know, next in the turn. And if they have a two drop, we'll censor it. If they don't, we'll cycle the censor. Ooh, same colors. That's scary. They hit me, yep. Yep. Okay, no value for you. Okay. 
We got three mana. We'll just play the scorpion out. We'll fly it over with the cartouche. Or you'll make me sack it. That's fine. Ugh. That's fine. As long as you don't have a whole lot going on, I think I'm just gonna... Oh, I should have played the desert. I think I'm just gonna force them to discard. Because it's not like I'm doing anything else either. Yeah. I'll get the two for one while I can. But I should have played the desert, because now I can't play a Scarab God on the next turn. Oh, they have the Oblivion trick too. Nice. Baleful Ammon. Okay. So I need to keep one extra card open. Oh, interesting. So they're on the cycling plan. Alright, well, I got there. It's Scarab God time. And then they just start eating their cards. I think so. Yeah, make a guy. Sure. Okay. Um, do I just attack? Let's get him up in the air. Because what's better than a, a Scarab God? A flying, attacking Scarab God. And then we'll play the Desert Tapped, because I want the extra mana to reanimate things. We'll play a Ground Dude. And then I don't mind if I lose this last card. Okay, so we'll make another, another dude. Sure. I need to have this for defense, and then I'm just going to make zombies all day, I think. Okay, I have... I can discard that. Alright, so... Step number one is to play this land. Now I have all the men I need to make, to eat this. Let's eat the Baleful Ammon. Thank you. We'll put it on the amateur. And then we'll go to combat. We'll attack with you. And let's attack with both. You're just going to make the Scarab God smaller. And that's fair. Oh, damn it. Sure. Then we'll cast you. We'll, we'll be out of cards in our hands. And then we'll just keep making more zombies. They're mana screwed, too. So that's part of their problem. Uh, Vizier. Nah. Let's get something else. No, oh, and they quit. Yeah, that's... I don't know. Scarab God's really oppressive. Okay, let's see if we can get seven wins. Okay, we have two mana. And we can cycle this. We can't really cast that, but... Actually, I don't know if this is good enough. I think I want to mulligan. Just because I'd like to be able to cast something. Well, I guess if we draw one, we can cast Eternal. So we'll go ahead and keep this. There we are. Got some sort of spells thing going on here. Play this as a blocker. Let's hope they don't have Magma Spray. Am I gonna call my own shot here? Ooh. They get to take Jace? That's rough. Must be faster. Alright, we'll play you. We'll play the Eternal of Harsh Truths. And then... Maybe just hold. Yeah. We can Lethal Sting to take care of any, any big plays on their part. 
now. Uh, they can't cycle now, so I might as well do this. Right? Yeah, they can't cycle now. Yeah. Alright. So we'll lethal sting, targeting you. Put a minus one, minus one on you. Get yeah, a two, two. Attack with this. Alright. For next. End the turn. That gets rid of that, which is good. Center, fine. Mm hmm. We'll spin this. Okay. Will unburden my opponent. Make them drop all their cards. Okay, sure. And then we'll go to combat. We can consign whatever they block with, so I think it's fine. Okay, so we're going to consign the Doom to center. Consign this. Sure. We'll play you. We will attack. Play you. Just put it on this guy. That's great. In the turn. Okay. I don't have a whole lot going on, it looks like. Uh, do I do this? I don't think I do this. Yeah, we'll pass that. Okay, we've got six mana. Everybody's gonna attack. Okay. So they'd rather me not draw. Deals two damage to that one's controller. Hmm. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Sure. Okay, we'll play the Hecma Sentinels. We'll play the Vizier. Force discard, and maybe we will. Okay, so there's no point now. Then we'll attack with these two. No point in attacking with you, you'll just get blocked. Okay. Play the Doom to center. And end. And they quit. And everybody, that is seven wins, one loss. So we got there. Of course, having both Jace and the Scarab God in your deck kind of makes it easy street to get there. So that is part of it. This is an interesting format. It combines both Hour of Devastation and Amon Ket with some other additional cards. I thought it was pretty fun and I'd like to see how the draft goes. Let's go ahead and see what our prizes are. We got 2,200 gems and three packs. Let's open those packs. Oh, we'll open this Corset pack since I have it here. get all this stuff. Here's 
Here's our I'm a cut pack, I think, of all of these cards. I will probably take the Eternal of Hearts Truths first. It was pretty good the first time I played it. There's a really good reason to take the Sandburn Convergence, because if you can cast it, you can actually just win the game. But it is 8 mana, and so maybe you take it first and then ramp for it. That's This is probably the responsible take, or Pitiless Vizier, and this is probably the fun take. So next pack we have the Vizier of the Menagerie. I think that is an incredibly powerful card and that is easily a first pick. But the Wayward Servant and the Gravedigger are also both good cards. Wouldn't first pick them though, not against the Vizier of the Menagerie. Alright, and these are all of our picks for here. I don't really like any of these as a first pick. This is not terribly good. This is, I guess, something kind of worth first picking, or maybe this as a, an aggressive start. The Sharpshooters may be an okay payoff, but yeah, this is not a very good opening pack. Anyway, so that will be it. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you'd like to see more such videos, hit subscribe. In the future, I'll be back with a play through the draft format for Amonkhet Remastered. Until then, this was Refresh, and thanks for watching.